this is my New Year's Eve resolution for 2013 and this video is going to give you 10 tips that you need to know in order to be successful with the taxis and transportation around Kansas City for this year. Now I have to t make a disclaimer and tell you that the cab companies in Kansas City have said they don't agree with the things I'm telling you and they're against it. My cab company itself the owner told me she will not support this. I'm totally putting this information out there against industry standards. So here we go. Number one is call a cab driver before you call the cab company. The reason why is because the cab driver will know what they're doing before the cab company. The cab company just basically take the orders and put it out there. And when we have time or we wish to, we will go ahead and pick up a call. So if you ha don't have any taxi drivers saved in your in your phone, find a friend who may who may have done that and ask them for some recommendations. You have much more success calling the driver before you call the company. Number two is get the phone number of the cab company you're using or the cab company's number. And then the number of the cab, the number that's on the cab, all cab, more cabs have a number posted on them. Gypsy cabs don't, but they, most of them have a company with a website. You have this information, so if you lose anything or have any issues, you know who to contact and you have somebody to follow up with, or at least the police do. So, number three is if you pay cash for a round trip, a round trip would be to the destination and then home. If you do that, make sure you get a receipt and make sure that receipt has the number of the cab that you're in and the number of the phone number. That way, if the driver chooses not to come back to get you, you have proof that you paid for a round trip. Number four is always get the cell phone number of the cab driver. That way, if you lose something or you think you've lost something in the back of a cab, you can call them. Most cab drivers may not be able to return items that night, but they can return them later. Number five is, it's a little bit more complicated than the rest of them, but number five is when you're trying to hail a cab at the end of the evening, or if you do attempt to try to hail a cab, the first question you should ask the driver is, do you need a long trip or a short trip, and what direction do you need to go? Because cab driving is a logistical game. It's time versus distance versus the meter, and if you know that we need to go south or north and we need to go a short distance or a long distance, you'll know where your destination is and whether it will work for us. And many times when they're thinking they can't get a fare, if you're working with them, you will find out that you will get perfect service. Number six is if you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late. And we always have the right to be late on this evening. The reason is, is there's only going to be a lot of about 700 cabs in Kansas City, and there's going to be 100,000 people participating in uh, New Year's Eve activities. It's called Amateur Night, remember? So keep in mind that you need to be not standing on the curb, not paying the tab, not coming out. You need to be outside. Don't be changing shoes when they come to pick you up. Be ready to go. When the cab pulls up, he'll probably be late, but just get in the car and go. Number seven. Number seven is about gypsy cabs. Gypsy cab is a cab that is not a marked cab or regulated by the Kansas City, Missouri Commission or a 1010 taxi. It's a plain brown wrapper. And if you choose to use one of these transportation companies that is considered a gypsy cab, please take your cell phone, turn on the video camera, walk up to the driver and ask these three questions. How much will it be? Will you allow me to turn my GPS on and guide you? And three do you take credit cards? You have this videotape conversation. If any of these things don't go down, you can call the police and you have a recording of the contract. Number eight. Number eight is about the gypsy cab. A gypsy cab can be anything from a minivan to a van, a 15 passenger van to a limousine to a town car to just a, a Prius. It's, it's a person that is putting out service without being regulated by the Taxi Cab Commission of Kansas City. And Many of these guys give excellent, perfect service. They're honest, legit, hardworking, and very reliable. And I have to say that, you know, most of them have been kicked out of the taxi cab regulation because of politics. 
And so when the when the regular industry speaks out against them and says that they're dangerous, or the commission does, I have to say it's just sour grapes on their part. And yeah, I'm not against them. But there are some sharks out there, so please be careful. Turn your cell phone camera on. Number nine. Number nine is all payment. Uh, the payment is whatever the meter reads or whatever the flat rate was agreed upon. If you choose not to pay this, this is considered theft of services and you can and will go to jail. Now, we are required to take either cash or credit, even the gypsy caps and take credit now with the square and the, the cell phones, the smartphones. So, as I tell people all the time in my cab, cash or credit, no food stamps. We're not allowed to take food stamps, drugs, items, personal items are not legal as payment. So, cash or credit, that's it. Okay, number 10. Number 10 is in conclusion of the last nine. But, all right, I'm going to give a little, little, little rant here. Okay, in respect to the Kansas City, Missouri winning their lawsuit against the Kansas Taxi Cab Drivers Association and being allowed to only restrict 500 cabs to the streets, I want to say this. There was a total of 700 cabs between 1010 Taxi, Kansas City, Missouri, and Gypsy Cabs, and 100,000 people participated in New Year's activity. I think it's just a little bit unsafe. Now, some of you may have friends or relatives that live in a city that use these new transportation apps like Uber, Streetcar, Sidecar. Well, let me tell you, Kansas City, Missouri has blocked those apps. Now, Kansas, Johnson County, is not regulated, so they could come here, but we're such a small market, they're not probably going to come here. So, one of the suggestions I can make to you is to find six taxi drivers, put them in your phone, put them in a group. If you give them an hour to an hour and a half notice and see who's willing to pick up your trip, that's pretty much the same thing as working an app. But I will tell you this, the Z Trip app off a of 1010 Taxi is not the same as Uber or Streetcar or Sidecar. It's only strictly for 1010 and I don't really see what much difference between that and Taxi Magic. So I think it's just because they're going to get the revenue of the advertising. So it's just another gimmick. I don't recommend Z Trip app. I think it's just something there. And they're not going to allow other transportations to participate within it. So it's not going to work the same as these things. And the fact that we don't have any good public transportation here and the light rail is really going to just not be it's just another gimmick like the Z Trip app because somebody's got somebody's hands in somebody's pockets, which you would be correct if that's what you're thinking. That's all this really is. And it's unfortunate, but I think within the future we will have some of these phone apps that come here. We'll make like New Year's Eve, a lot safer and a lot easier to get to what you need to do and get what you've done. But for this year, please be safe. And hey, would you share this video out and retweet it, Facebook it with your friends? You can also, with on, since it's on YouTube, you can also now text it out to your friends. Please send this out. I appreciate it. Hey, I love your face. And you all have a happy New Year. Peace, Denise.